Hi, my name is Michael Matney. I'm with Auto Film Solutions based out of Colorado. I'm a certified trainer for Hexus, and today I'll be demonstrating Body Fence. Body Fence is a hydrophobic, self-healing, optically clear film offered in three different types. We have matte, gloss, and black gloss. Today I'll be demonstrating Body Fence P. Body Fence P carries the X technology, which is also offered in two other films, Body Fence X and Body Fence Black. Body Fence X is a six mils film, Body Fence Black is a six mils film, and Body Fence P is their seven mil film. They carry a lifetime warranty against yellowing and cracking. I'm gonna be demonstrating the process that we go through, setting up your bottles, prepping the hood, and the installation down to finish work. The first product I'm gonna be using is Shag Remove. Shag Remove is gonna re remove any type of road grime, silicone based products, and minor adhesive. So I'm gonna spray the entire hood. I usually split it right down the center and go outwards so that I can watch what I'm actually doing. Once this process is done and the hood looks nice and clean, I'm gonna grab my soapy solution. For my soapy solution, I just use any liquid soap and some water. Um, the process I'm gonna use right now is I'm gonna clay the hood to remove any minor contaminants that are embedded in the paint. So when I'm claying, I'm doing short strokes. I'm going in a left and right motion, and then I'm gonna go back and do an up and down motion after. Once the hood's clayed, um, I'm gonna rub my hand across the paint. I'm gonna make sure I don't feel anything. Everything feels nice and smooth. Once the hood is clayed, you're gonna squeegee the hood now. I always start with the top to bottom motion and move left with overlapping passes. Now that the whole hood is squeegeed, I'm gonna go over my next cleaning process. I'm gonna use Shag Clean. This is the last chemical I used before installation. Same process, I'm gonna spray the hood. Once you wipe down your hood with Shag Clean, you're gonna wanna spray and wipe down the areas surrounding it, your hood. Um, these are gonna be your tack points. Also wipe down your doors too. Once this process is done, we're ready for install. During the installation process, we're gonna do the, one more squeegee just to make sure we get off any contaminants that are laying on the hood so that we can create the cleanest possible install. For this demonstration, I'll be using the spray box by Shag Tools. I carry two bottles. One is a rinse and one is a slip. The rinse is just water and the slip is a liquid soap and water. Hexus also offers another product, which is their Hexus Gel. It's an all-in-one installation tool. Now that the hood's prepped and ready to go, we're gonna take our slip solution and spray it one more time right before we put the film on. I'm gonna have Sean come out here and assist me. We're gonna pull this liner off, keeping tension across the whole film so the liner comes off nice and smooth. Spraying the center with our slip, making sure our tack points are dry, and laying the hood. Should be good, right? Okay. Once the film's on the hood, we're gonna stretch it in an X from the four corners. So I'm gonna start with this top corner right here. And as you can see, I'm stretching in an X motion. The goal is to pull the film to where it looks like everything is all ready to be squeegeed on a nice flat surface. Once your stretch is good, you're gonna make sure you spray the top of the film with your slip so your squeegee can slide right across it. Got my red shag squeegee. Always do a top tack line, push some of the air out. So I'm gonna do long overlapping passes, making sure that the squeegee glides across the top. If you feel your squeegee catch it all, you're gonna to wanna to respray the top of the film with your slip solution. Now that the hood is squeegeed, we're gonna release all the tension, we're gonna rinse our soap out, and then we're gonna cut the film back to allow it to dry so that we can wrap those edges once the film is dry. This rinse process also lets you see where the film isn't actually adhered to, so you can go through, re-squeegee those edges. So now I'm taking my slip one last time so that I can squeegee all the hood edges so that they lay flush against that edge. 
take out my shag knife to cut any excess film. I'm gonna cut off all the film except for about an inch all the way around the hood. This extra inch allows me to roll it over into a full wrapped hood. Pulling the film upwards so that I can keep the blade away from the vehicle. I'm gonna take my rinse one last time. During this process, I actually usually, I actually lift the hood and prop it up so that I can get a good rinse out. But because this is a demo car, I can't pop this hood. So I'm just gonna rinse everything out right here. This is just to ensure that I do have all of the soap rinsed out and this film can fully dry and adhere to the underside of the hood. Now that the hood's squeegeed and ready to go, I'm gonna show you two ways of taking care of your edges. First way is gonna be wrapping the edges and the second way is in the event that you can't wrap the edge, I'm gonna show you guys how to cut back the film for an acceptable tolerance. So in the event that you cannot wrap an edge, I'm not saying that the hood edge cannot be wrapped, but in the event that you cannot wrap the edge, uh, millimeter back is ac acceptable tolerance. So what I look for is where the edge of the film is and right past the apex. And I'm just pulling slowly towards me, making sure I keep that same line So in the event, like I said, if you cannot wrap that edge and you do have to cut it back to a millimeter uh, tolerance, you always want to go back with a heat gun and make sure that edge is completely sealed just so that there's no extra lifting, dirt contaminants can get under it, and then the possibility of a redo. So next I'm going to demonstrate on how to wrap an edge. So once your hood edges are dry and you're ready to wrap them, what you're gonna do is take your finger and you're gonna go in a left and right motion, slowly going more and more over that apex. Once the film is pointing downwards, you can move down to your next section and you're slowly gonna wrap that ex excess film over the edge. Just making your way further and further down so that the film can start getting under while slowly moving your finger more and more down that hood edge to the underside of it. Once it's all the way down, you can kind of just start feeling that edge flatten out. Once you feel like it is fully flattened out, you'll take your, take your shag knife. In the event of this hood, you would pop it up and then you would trim a nice clean line all the way across the hood. Once I am ready to trim, I find the nearest body line and I trim along that body line Again, once you pull this excess film off, you're gonna to wanna to take a heat source and make sure all these edges are sealed back down. Now that your hood is done and all your edges are wrapped, or for whatever edges that you could not wrap and had to trim back, make sure you take a heat gun and seal those edges. You're gonna to wanna to give it one final wipe down to make sure everything is perfect before delivering it to a customer. So I hope you learned a bunch today, whether it being the prep process, setting up your bottles, the installation with stretch, stretching it in an X formation, overlapping squeegee strokes, and wrapping or cutting back your edges. Thank you. If you guys have any more information, you guys wanna see the link below, hit us up till the next video. Peace out, I'm Mike.